So when you solve that problem and you solve for each of these nodes, this is the solution that you get, 78.59, uh, 76.06. So you get the temperature at every point on the interior of the plate. So great, and then you could, you know, you could interpolate or something between uh, between values, but you, you've, you've solved the, differential, the, the partial differential equation and you're done, right? Well, maybe, right? Um, if temperature is really what you care about, then then you are done. But what if what if instead of you what if you you solve for temperature and that was somewhat important to you, but what you really care about is what we call a secondary variable. Maybe what you really care about is the heat flux. And and I'm showing here we we we, we haven't solved for this yet. But but let's say this is what you really want. You would really like to get the distribution of the heat flux. Uh, at everywhere on the plate, and that's what you really wanted. Now, we solved this system, and that's great, but what we really want is this. So how do we go from this solution to this? And, and we don't just want to, to, to look at differences in heat between points, but um, I, I mean, we can, but, but we want to do it in a little bit more of a, a systematic way. Uh, and so what we do is, uh, is we can recall the, the equation uh, that represents the relationship between uh, temperature and heat flux. In particular, we had uh, this Qx equals negative k. Now it was a it was a partial of T with respect to well with respect to whatever uh, it called it with respect to I. So. Um, so in this case, we, we can just use a finite difference approximation, and uh, so if, if we if we're worrying worrying about x, then qx is equal to minus k, and this is I'm sorry, this is, this is k prime, uh, and then our, our approximation for um, for the derivative, uh, the so the centered finite difference. So then we have t i plus 1 j j minus t i minus 1 j all over 2 delta x. Okay, so that's what we had for x and then we could say qy equals so again it's it's our, our our partial but that's just going directly to this minus k prime um, that's going to be t i j plus one minus t i j minus one over two delta y. Alright, so we've got our qx and our qy and we can put these uh, together to say qn is equal to the square root of qx plus qy each squared. Alright, and uh, and that gives us the magnitude. So this is the magnitude and the direction the direction is going to be given by theta equals the the arc tangent so a tan um, qx well qy over qx so that gives you the direction uh, and then um, yeah um, so that's it. So you can you can use that to construct the the value um, of the the magnitude at any point and the direction at any point, and then you can plot it out. So you can see the longer arrows, and, and I haven't plotted this out perfectly, but the longer arrows are are to represent a larger magnitude and shorter shorter arrows, a shorter magnitude. So then we can plot that out and get an idea of what the heat flux does. So uh, again, the point here is that. Um, you can use the finite difference approach to uh, get your answer and and that's great but you can also look at secondary variables again 
reverting to the finite difference approach if it has a derivative style um, relationship to it then you can use the finite difference equations and 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 get a good estimate for for your secondary variables but again you just have to look and you have to consider uh, what is an important thing in your problem the other thing that's nice to be aware of is that um, is that you may need to use uh, an alternate form uh, for your equation such as such as um, some of the things that we're coming up with here you might have to use an alternate form for your equation to accommodate um, to accom accommodate the boundary conditions that you have so uh, anyway so there that's the the discussion then on uh, secondary variables and this is sort of uh, for this example one way you would go about finding the second secondary variable which may be uh, of interest